Hello and welcome back to another Demis Helen tutorial. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter video, but I thought we'd do some experimentation with PNGs in Serum. So it's something that I've done and I don't think I've ever shared it with you. So if I have, apologies, uh, I may have shared it somewhere, but I do this quite a lot, especially with my own photography. So we're going to pick a picture that I use on my Instagram account and we're going to have a look at how that works. So. We're going to use this PNG called Time Travel. So this is picture, it's currently unreleased actually. It's a picture of a clock uh, placed in the middle of the woods with some lights behind. That is the picture. It's going to be easy to see on Serum. So simply click and drag. Drag it onto your oscillator and it'll say there, Pixel Luminance Maps to Amplitude. Okay, so we get a waveform there. Let's have a listen. Uh, let's unsolo there. So it has quite a lot of pop to it, it's quite nice. But if we click here to change the view, you can see the clock and you can see the bokeh balls, the blurred lights in the background and you can see the foliage here. So it's kind of a flat top down view. It's always amazed me how this works. So let's look at the wavetable position. We can pick say the middle of the clock there. We get a nice nasally hard sound, which might make a good bass. Quite nice. And obviously, as you scroll through this, that's quite a nice area. Nice. So what can we do with that? We can change that back and we can see a cross section. So we're looking at it flat on. Uh, yeah, you can create loads of sounds. It's nothing drastic. But if you wanted to use your own pictures or your own creations from Photoshop or Illustrator, whatever you use, uh, this is probably a good way to generate some sounds and wavetables that you probably wouldn't be able to design just off the top of your head. You probably could, uh, but you can go in there and you can change everything if you like, so it'll change the look of the picture at the same time, uh, but we're not going to go into that. So uh, let's have a look at doing that. I don't think I had any more PNG. I didn't, no. So let's pick the time travel one again. We'll put both oscillators on here. That would help if I turned it on. Okay, so we have both oscillators here and we've got one where we've got kind of the top of the clock. Let's use the foliage at the bottom for the second one. That sounds good. A bit bit smoother and a harsh one. So let's create a keys sound. Let's create something that flows and moves slowly. So we're going to increase the attack to about here. Sounds good. Decay and then it's going to sustain down. And then we're going to increase the release to about three seconds there, just increase that sustain. Okay, so we've got a very gamey sort of sound there. So let's have a look at adding a few little extras in there. So let's add some noise. In fact, we'll add some attacks. Uh, let's pick an attack. That sounds quite nice. Reduce the level there. 
really liking that metal tick. Um, and then we're going to put a filter on and let's pick something outrageous. Um, and let's put A and B through there and also the noise generator. Sounding really good. Now this metal tick is giving me an idea to use the LFO quite fast. So let's have that on and off in if you catch my drift there. Let's have that rise up a bit. Yeah, let's try that. So we're going to attach this to the volume. We're going to turn this volume down first. Attach it on, attach it to about there, about where it was on. And then we'll keep that one nice and smooth. So this one is going to operate. And we're going to bend this one, I think, as well. So let's use, let's start with mirror, wherever we are there. So it's mirroring the waveform. So you can see now it's a mirror image before. If it's going to do that. There we are. Okay, and then to make this one appear in a bit later than what it's doing we're going to use envelope 2 and we're going to attach that to the level as well so it's going to take a while to get to full volume there we are I'm going to add some unison in here. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, so everything fades out pretty quickly. We've got this modulating that. Uh, there is absolutely no method to this madness today. Uh, let's put some reverb on. Big size. A bit of a low cut on there. That's quite haunting. I like that. Okay, so let's just try a chord here. Right, so we're going to emphasize this a little bit more here. So let's turn off this one. And let's have this an octave higher, so it's a bit more. Uh, okay, so we're controlling that there, so I'm going to drag this envelope so it's... Is exactly what I was hearing in my head. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it a little bit just to get. Sounds good. So this sound is still going to be controlled by envelope two. So you can hear that's coming in a bit slow, and you can see in the background envelope two here. So you can see that's taking a while after hitting the key. Let's increase that a little bit there. Okay, so now we've created a key sound. Let's give it a little bit of brightness. So let's jump into the effects. We're going to hit the EQ and 
we're just going to boost the gain. Okay, and we're going to increase a bit of pitch shifting on here. So this is quite stabby already, and I just want to add a little bit more into it. So we're going to use envelope 3, which hasn't been used yet, to do this. So you can hear it's already changing the sound there, and it's the coarse pitch. Just to give it that little bit of discombobulation in there, because it is sounding more oriental now. Okay, and we're going to change this here to just omnidirectional. So you can hear now that we're getting this effect when we hit the button, or the key should we say. We get one and then we get an off. If you hit it quick enough, you get that nice. Okay, and that's what this is doing up here. So just do it. So obviously played a little bit too fast, uh, you can get quite a weird sound. Or if you play it slow, and then use, you can utilize that sound in there. But, we don't want to do that, so I'm just going to remove that for now. So remove modulation. We're going to use the fine tune. In fact, we can use the semi. And again, let's just make that omnidirectional. So you can see now that we've used this and this is shifting the semitones. Let's just put that back down to where it was. Damn these magic mice. So hold the sound. Much better. And then you get that nice little pitch bend at the end. So you can hear what's happening there. It sounds really, really good. Um, Let's make this decay shorter. So you can hear now, we're adding a little bit of snap. And the quicker we get, and we're just going to reduce this volume of this metal tick now. Get a lovely sound there. Now we can remove that. Um, so we get that harsher plucking sound back. Okay, so you can see the sound that we're going to do, but we don't want to go for that in terms of moving that. So we could have it a lot less. So say, moving just one octave, there we are. So you get a little bit more of a unified sound. Instead of it's like kind of sliding across loads of octaves. It 
sounds really nice. Uh, and then we can obviously make this curve a little bit like that. So that is using a PNG image, that is a photograph that I've taken made into an oriental pluck sound. Now that wasn't the kind of outlay of where I was going with it, but that is the beauty of sound design. Just go in, start creating something, don't try to make everything for the track you're doing and stuff like that, and don't try to just keep sticking to the same genre. Start looking into other styles and you never know, this could fit into your next trans production or house track. Or it might not. It might make something chilled out and relaxed. It could be anything. So that is using some PNGs. Uh, we've used the wavetable position to choose the areas. We've used different envelopes to create different sounds. So like envelope two is making this slowly come in. This one is now hitting quite hard. We've got a bit of modulation from envelope three here. And uh, you can see that we've used mirror mode on the wavetable so we can bend the sound and it's creating a mirror image. Let's just get that there. We've used some effects. We've put some reverb on there, flange, a bit of EQ, and we, you can put anything you want on there. Let's put a bit of multiband on. Let's drop the bass. Increase the highs a bit. Turn that reverb down. Bit more defined, and we can add some delay in there if we wanted. And there we have it. That is a keys slash pluck sound so if you enjoyed the video and just the mess around if you want to see some more picture videos and creating sounds set me a challenge i don't know whatever and i will uh, do my best to see what we can come up with so thank you very much for watching hit the like button and drop a comment i reply to everybody and finally hit subscribe three videos on music production per week so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video